In this uh, Memphis Answers, uh, we're going to uh, deal with a question from Jim Watson. His original question is, how did you square the frame? My answer was to use the 3-4-5 method. Um, he went on to say that he didn't think that was a very good method for, for uh, uh, raptors. Um, the fact is, he said it, he didn't think it would work uh, the way I was discussing it. But he's a real carpenter, and I'm not. And so I'm having trouble explaining to him how I did it. So that's what this video is all about. Uh, Jim uh, didn't think my method of uh, squaring the rafter to the ledger board uh, would work or wouldn't work well. Um, but I'm not really a carpenter and I, I don't really, you know, understand everything he was talking about. But let's go through the whole three four five method first of all if i have a if i have a beam here in a rafter and it's at 90 and it's at 90 degrees uh, to, to get it square to this board all i have to do is measure out uh, uh you know four feet uh, three feet and five feet and then take a stick and line that stick up with those marks okay in, in our case here we're using 12 inches uh, 9 inches and 15 inches okay if I put if I put my stick right on those marks when this thing is there's no angle to it now it's just it's just uh, 90 degrees now if I ch if I check this it's going to be square to this board Okay, but that's not the question. The question is, what if the, the uh, board here is, is angled? And this is 14 degrees. So let's, uh, let's give that a try. Okay, now this is 14 degrees. This is what we did on our uh, shed roof. Now. I say, the way I look at it, this forms a plane from the bottom, uh, from the bottom of the ledger board down to here. So there is a plane that has a resultant angle from this seven, uh, 12, 14 degrees and this 90 degrees, but this it slopes down. As long as I put my 15 inch spacer okay the top of the spacer right there okay that goes there and the top of the spacer over here on the the nine goes there so now my spacer is following that plane so as long as those two right there match up it's on the plane not up here it's not going to work up here down here at that angle just like that now if I check that it's square okay hey, let's get let's go crazy here that's only 14 degrees let's go to 27 and a half degrees and see if it works I, I just got a uh, I just checked um, my email and uh, Jim just wrote me back and said uh, I could show his uh, comment as long as I, I mentioned him as one of uh, one of one of my brilliant carpenter friends, and you don't have to be very brilliant to be a better carpenter than me. Okay, this is twenty seven. This is twenty seven and a half degrees. Let's see if it works here. So here's my fifteen inch stick, my twelve inch mark, and my nine inch mark. All I got to do is keep that stick on that plane. The top of the stick goes to 12 and the top of the stick on the other side goes to the 9 so this thing's angled down now it's on that plane See, it doesn't work over here it's not going to work over here As a matter of fact up here it wouldn't even hit the board but if you stay on that if you stay at that angle
right there, that should be square. And it is. Okay, well, let's just go crazy. We, we, we did the angle like this. Now let's just pretend we just keep rotating this thing around. And until it was all the way over like this. Would it work then? Let's see. Okay, it's all the way up here like this. Now it's, it's rotated through Okay, it's rotated through uh, 90 full degrees, and it still works. So, as long as you stay at the plane between that mark there and that mark there, see, I'm on the plane. I get it up here, I'm on another plane. Same deal. Move it down, same deal. So I think the three, four, five method uh, uh, works uh, squaring up these uh, rafters. I sure hope it does because uh, I've built other shed, shed roofs and that's how I've done it.